This is the easiest tutorial created on a model context protocol. I'm so sure about this that if at the end of this video you are still unable to understand model context protocol and if you are unable to create your MCP server and client, I will return your money back. So let's get started. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. First, very quickly, let's understand what exactly is this MCP or model context protocol. What is happening here is that all these large language models, they have been trained on huge amount of data, but they have no clue as how to get real time data. For that, we use agents. These agents use tools or in other words, their own functions to access external data, whether it is real time or it is offline. It could be stored in databases. It could be stored in flat files or wherever. So these agents access that data through some API endpoint or whatever those functions or data sources need. And then these agents return the data to these large language models. Then these large language models use that external data, their own intelligence, and then give the user response back. Now you can imagine that if your data is stored in a SQL database or in a flat file or in a PDF file, there will be different ways of accessing it. And then as per your own application, you might be doing some post processing or pre processing of data before you return it to the user or large language model. Now, all of this is quite complex. And if you are using an AI powered application with LLM, you really don't want to do that. This is where MCP is trying to help. It is a standard secure way to connect with these AI models to external data sources and programs. So what happens is that let's say our application accesses a flat file, a PDF file and a database to retrieve the some data about some use case. Now, instead of us figuring out what and how those external data sources, sources can be accessed, someone creates an MCP server on top of those three data sources and that MCP server takes care of connecting to those three data sources, post processing that data. And all we need to do is to just create a MCP client, which will retrieve the data from that MCP server and then give it to LLM. So that makes it standard and secure. And in this video, I'm going to show you first how to create a simple hello world MCP server and then how to access it through a client. And then we will expand on that example and we will create more real world example where I will be creating an MCP server backed by a database, a local database. And then we will also create a client to access the data. So let's get started. For this VM, I also want to thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring it. If you are also looking to rent a VM and GPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a 50% discount coupon for a range of VMs and GPUs. So please do check them out. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to open two windows or in my terminal and I am running Ubuntu 22.04. You can use this example and code in Windows, Mac, or wherever you like. I will also be sharing all the code which I'm going to use. So don't worry about the code. Just sit back, relax, and try to understand um, what exactly is happening here because at the end of this video, I really don't want to return your money. Let me clear this. So first, let me create a virtual environment with Conda. This is an optional step. So all I'm doing, in this code, I am creating this virtual environment with Conda and then I'm installing this MCP and Anthropic and just an environment package. So let's run this. And our virtual environment is created and also we have installed the MCP CLI. So in the left window, I'm going to create a Hello World MCP server. For that first step is just create two folders or directories and then I am seeding into that. That is done. Now, let me create a quick file, which I'll call hello.py. This is a simple Python file. 
and then i am going to open this in my vs code window on my local system and this hello.py is where i'm going to create my mcp server so this is the code which i am going to use in order to create the server yes that's these are all the 14 15 lines which we are going to use so what is happening here first i am importing this fast mcp class which helps us to create an mcp server and register tools tools is just a function and then this is where we are initializing new mcp server and the name which i have given it is hello world and this is a fast mcp helper i am using okay and then you see i am using this python decorator python decorator gives sort of a special you know character to a python function so in this one we are taking this function a simple function and making it a decorator so it will act as a mcp tool and this is indicating that the following function this say hello is exposed as an external callable tool by mcp client and we can define as many function as we want and within this function we will do all the access of the data post processing pre-processing or whatever we need to do the client will only call this function with this parameter name and that's about it and it will get some result back in this case this hello name and you can imagine you can do whatever you want here client doesn't have to know about it you can even put your credentials here you can put your keys here it is secure and all that stuff and it is all hidden or masked from the user so this is the beauty of mcp and then finally um, and this is an asynchronous function by the way so that you know uh, client doesn't have to wait for it to return the result and then we are simply calling this main function and in this main function you can see that we are using this mcp.run which primarily is starting our mcp server and transport stdio means that it is communicating with mcp client via standard input output stream which is a default connection method and this line is simply a doc string which primarily is telling um, what this tool is doing so it is helping the mcp client to understand purpose and usage so this is my hello.py i'm just going to i have already saved this file i will go here i will clear the screen and then i'm just going to run this hello.py which is going to create my mcp server and as soon as i have ran it you can see that it is now running and it hasn't returned as a control so it means everything is good i will just let it run on the left hand side window on the right hand side let's now create a client so i have just i'm just going to create a directory mcp hello client and then from there i'm just going to create a client again a simple python file i'll just i'm just calling it client.py let me open it in vs code so that i could show you the code here so this is a client client.py let me make it like this there you go so and let me just zoom it a bit because this just is okay much better so now what is happening in this client now in this client code at high level we are connecting to our mcp server first line we are importing few of the libraries so async io this library allows asynchronous programming in python then we have this async exit stack this handles proper closing of connections which we will establish with the server and then we have client session studio client and studio server parameters which help us to easily interact and communicate with mcp server through standard input output and then we are defining this function which is a main async function to run our mcp interaction logic and this is a logic this is we are giving we are giving the path you can change this to your own server and then um, we are giving it some of the parameters these parameters are defining um, that mcp server is a python program that should be executed uh, with some of the paths which we have defined here you can change it if you like and once that's done we are defining this async function which basically initiating 
the MCP client session. This is ensuring resources and connections are properly cleaned up on exit. And then we are connecting um, our um, client with the server and opening a communication channel to the MCP server directly using standard input output. And then we are awaiting it, which is primarily uh, calling the MCP tool and that's pretty much it. And we are simply using the hello world function here and then we are printing the response back that's all it is doing so uh, it's already saved let me go back and then clear the screen and run this client and now before i run that client there are two things which you need to ensure first that this virtual environment is activated you can simply do conda activate mcp env the same one which we created for server secondly make sure that your anthropic api key is set which you can grab from anthropic.com now you can use openai's key you can use various other llms you can even use olama i have another video where i have shown how to configure it with olama so but that is not the point of this video because the point of this video is to focus more on what exactly this mcp is so if you are interested in using local models just search the channel so i already have set my anthropic's api key which is a paid option by the way so i'm just going to run my client which is going to access this server on the left hand side there you go you see so the server has processed this information and has returned hello mcp user to this client and client has printed it out so this is how easy it is to create an mcp server and a client and then establish a communication between them so uh, if you want to stop the server just press ctrl c here and then it is stopped I'll just go one step back and same with this one the client one so this is a simple example to create the mcp server and client and i hope that you understand it now building upon this let's create a more uh, realistic example where i will be creating a simple database locally with sqlite i will expose it through my mcp server and then by using an M new mcp client we will access the data from that database by using mcp server with the power of large language model so let's get started so again on the left hand side i'm going to create the mcp server this time i'm creating a new directory sqlite mcp server that is done and i have seeded into it let me first create the sqlite database which is an open source very lightweight database you can of course use any database of your choice so i'm just going to create a setup db python script to make things easier let me open it in my vs code so this is the setup db script which i'm going to create this is a code so what this script is doing it is simply importing sqlite library and then we are just giving it this local path to a database where the name of the db is users.db it has one table and the table has this data so you can imagine you can create any database or access any database all you need to do is to give some connection information okay so let me go back there and i'm going to run this setup and the database is created there you go so our users.db is present on our local system okay so database is set and now let's create a server on top of this database so i'm just going to create a new file i'll just call it sqlite underscore server.py let me open it in vs code again maybe we can use the same one so this is a sqlite underscore server and this is where again same uh, framework same commands all we are doing we are importing these libraries we are initializing this with fast mcp we are using this python decorator to create a new connection to the database which is on this path as you can see and we are using sqlite commands to obtain the data from our table and as a parameter all user will be doing from the client will be passing on user id and we will be returning the data how we are returning the data what we are doing with data which credentials we are using like this or users don't have to worry about so secure and standard way mcp is providing us 
so let me go back here i have already saved it so i'm just going to minimize this for now and then let me create this sqlite server.py and you can see that on the left hand side our server is running and now let's create the client on the right hand side i have again created these directories and let's create the client so i'm just going to create this new client file client.py let's open it in vs code this is a client.py and similarly what we did before we are importing all of these libraries making the connection is secure on standard input output we are giving it the pass to our sqlite server and then we are initializing that server we are establishing the contact and then this is where we are calling the tool of that server which we all we need to do know is name of that tool plus the parameter which we are passing we are asking it to give us the uh, information about with the, of user with id 2 and then we are printing the whole record from that sqlite database so let me save this and let's go back here and run this client and there you go so the client has returned the data after obtaining it from our mcp server and if you think about it you can embed any api call any database any data source very easily just by using this framework and if you are still unsure if you still don't understand how mcp server works and client works and how to create this mcp server and client just put it in the comments how much money did you pay me and i will return your money back i hope this was useful before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching